hello guys welcome to NC simplified in this video we are going to use the joints to connect four parts of the assembly the assembly can be seen here it contains four parts the piston the pin the uh, crank rod and the crank so uh, uh, before start I would like to say that if you learn from the video please subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest updates on the ANSYS tutorials the engineering data selected here is by default structurally steel you can use any other metal as uh, a material as you wish the geometry is imported and I will click on the model to edit it Here in the geometry we can see the four parts, the crank, corn rod, the pin and the piston. And by default the software has generated a pin and piston uh, contact point. What we will do is insert a connection group and the connection group uh, connection type will be joints. now right click and create at automatic connections we can see here the uh, joints automatically created uh, but uh, to understand it better uh, click on rename or based on de definitions so that we can see the accurate name of the joints the crank to corn rod joint the corn rod to pin joint the pin to piston joint and the rod to piston joint now the next thing we have to do is to define the analysis setting as you can see that in the static structure there is a question mark select the tapered cylinder and click here and give it a fixed support and here in the cylindrical face give it a cylindrical support in the cylindrical support the radial will be fixed but the axial and tangential will be free now apply some pressure on the piston give it 0.25 mega pascal all the values here are approximate not uh, for any use but uh, for learning purpose now in the solution first click on solve Here we can see the deformation results. The stress result. On the joint. Now the next task is to find the reaction forces. Because the uh, mainly the reaction forces are important click on the fixed support and cylindrical support and drag it to the solution and also we should find the factor of safety as it is important measure to find that whether our uh, design is correct or not it will sustain uh, the stress or not now click on solve the force reaction the force reaction on the tapered cylinder is uh, finally 1649.4 newton and the force reaction on the cylindrical surface uh, containing the cylindrical support is 813.62 newton and the factor of safety here is 1.1781 that means it is 
good enough to sustain the stress and load hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel for further updates thank you for watching